Hey and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing another hardware based episode and the focus is going to be on Lutron Caseta smart switches and dimmers. Uh, Lutron Caseta is a pretty pricey but pretty high quality brand of uh, household in wall replacement dimmers and switches. And one of the main reasons that I uh, have chosen to go with these in my house is because they're one of the few um, in-wall dimmers that actually have a two-wire installation, meaning it only requires the black wire uh, in a circuit. You don't need to connect it to a neutral, which in some cases is imperative to having a successful uh, installation. In my case, it was, uh, which is what led me to the uh, Caseta brand in the first place. But since then, I've continued to buy uh, Caseta switches because I'm really happy with their quality and the way they integrate with my home automation system. That said, uh, buyer beware. When you are purchasing your, your Lutron Caseta starter kit or uh, your Lutron Caseta, you know, getting build, starting to build your Lutron Caseta switch system, be wary of which bridge you buy. And I'm going to show you why just here. So if I search Lutron Caseta and look at shopping here, I see that there is a smart dimmer switch starter kit. Um, and a couple different uh, kits you can buy here. It's important to note that these all come with a bridge with a serial number LBDG2. Uh, now that's the consumer grade Lutron Caseta bridge and it actually does not allow integration with your existing home automation system. In order to get one that has an open API you actually need to search for the Pro Bridge and this is how, yeah, this is the one that you're looking for here. So again, just be really careful. The bridges look identical. Uh, as far as I know, the hardware is identical. It's just a, a software block so that the consumer bridge, you know, uh, it's probably, I'm going to give Lutron the benefit of the doubt here and say that it's probably uh, for network security that they don't have an open API. Um, I'm not going to go too far into how I feel about that, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, just when you are buying these to integrate into your existing home automation system, please, please, please uh, make sure you're buying the Pro Bridge. Avoid the kits because I don't think any kits come with the Pro Bridge. So unfortunately, you won't be able to take advantage of those savings. But yeah, uh, it is what it is. So let's start looking at the installation process for the Lutron Caseta Pro Bridge. Okay, so even though we are using the ProBridge here, the installation into Home Assistant isn't quite as straightforward as it is with uh, some other products like Philips Hue. We're actually going to need to download a third-party component, and you can do that just by Googling like this. I'm to say to Pro, and we'll say Home Assistant. And that's going to take us to a GitHub page for uh, the actual plugin for the Lutron Caseta Pro. So we'll grab this and we will download it onto our automation server. Make a, we'll just make another subfolder to throw it in. For now. Okay, it's here. And then we'll navigate to our home assistant uh, directory. And we're going to start by going to the configuration.yaml and uh, we're going to create a, a minimal stub entry for the Lutron Caseta Pro Bridge. We'll put it right here above Philips Hue. And the stub entry is actually located right at the bottom of the GitHub page. It's got a spot for you to specify a host IP address and a host MAC address for the actual bridge. In this case, I'm not going to be using a host MAC address because I, I have a static IP defined for my uh, Caseta bridge. Uh, I advise you do the same thing, but um, as far as I'm aware, the MAC address will uh, resolve that issue. Or use, sorry, using the MAC address will resolve a non-static IP, but again, Best practice, always give your uh, your home automation devices a static IP. Okay. 
and save and quit. Okay, so after creating that stuff entry, what we're going to want to do is create a folder inside of our Home Assistant folder called Custom Components. Custom underscore components. And, oh. and navigate into the directory, which should be empty. And we want to put in all those files that we grabbed from GitHub a second ago. So we'll do a copy, dash R. I think we called it uh, Caseta. And then, and we're going to grab everything from that folder and we're going to put it right here. Okay, so that's there now. So uh, let's restart Home Assistant and uh, do the rest of the setup. Oh. Okay, so Home Assistant's restarted. Let's check it out. All right, so you'll see that we have a configurator entry here. Uh, it's detected that we have inserted that stub for the, um, it's called Lutron Caseta. Okay, hopefully you can see this somewhat properly. I'm in the Lutron Caseta app now, and you can see the lights that I have in my home are set up here on the main screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the settings menu. I'm gonna go to advanced, and then integration. Inside of integration, there's a link here. I know you probably can't see it in the little picture in picture. Well, let me scale that up a bit for you, actually. Let's Probably still can't see it. Anyway, you have to take my word for it that the second link here says send integration report. And I'm going to do that, and it's, I'm going to send via Gmail to myself the integration report. And the integration report is basically a JSON list of the devices I have configured in the app. So I'll send it to myself and click send. Okay. So we'll scale this down. We probably don't need it at all anymore. And we will go to Gmail to grab that uh, integration report that I just sent. And here it is. So this is the integration report that the app has just sent out. I'm going to copy all the text in the email body and I'm going to paste it into this configure tab for the Lutron Caseta Smart Bridge Pro and I'll submit it. Okay, so it calls the configurator and you might not have seen it, but right away it refreshed my light list and now I can see that I've got my Lutron Caseta lights here. This is, uh, I have kitchen prep lights, kitchen dining lights, my exterior driveway lights, and there should be one more, my theater, home theater snack lights. So it worked right away. Uh, all the lights uh, just got added just like any other switch would in Home Assistant. It's going to be uh, completely usable by Node Red, uh, including the dimmer switches will have brightness values associated with them and things like that. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show you for now. Next episode, we'll be focusing on Nest thermostats and creating some cool integrations uh, to control your household climate. So anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.